Good morning. I'm at South Park right now and it's such a beautiful day. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Suleiman Khani from Think Smart where every single Saturday we share topics on how to live a happier, healthier and a smarter life. Today's topic is what inspired me to start my YouTube channel and that is to give tips on how to actually study. I'm a 4.0 double major student and today I'm going to be sharing with you all of my very powerful tips to show you exactly how I study so that you as well can do the same thing and even more. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first thing that you want to figure out is what type of learner you are because that's going to help you a lot in terms of knowing what to do when you're studying. There are four kinds of learners. There's the visual learner, there's the tactile learner, there's the kinesthetic learner, and there's also the auditory learner. Usually there is one that you have more than the others. So how do you know that? Well, first of all, the visual learner is someone who remembers images. I am personally one of those people who remembers images more than anything. An auditory learner is someone that remembers voices, that remembers sentences that he heard during a lecture. And then you have the tactile learner, someone who learns by taking notes. And then you have the last one, which is the kinesthetic learner. That is someone who likes to get their hands on when they're learning something. So how do you know what category you fall on? For me, the way I knew that I was a visual learner more than anything is that I noticed that when I'm studying or when I'm reviewing, I am remembering mostly images more than anything else. So what I did while I was studying was focus my energy on studying figures, studying shapes, studying the pictures on the chapters. Now, what you can do in your case is that while you're studying, start to be a little bit more introspective and notice what you're remembering. Are you remembering images? Or are you remembering when you heard your professor say something in class? Because that would be an auditory learner. Or do you remember when you were doing something? Or do you remember your notes? Because that's the tactile learner. And so based on that, you will be able to understand what kind of approach you want to take while you are studying. All right. So the second thing that you want to do is you want to take notes. As a college student, I noticed that a lot of my friends in class are just chilling. They're not even studying, they're not even taking notes, they're not following up. And you know, small steps like this add up. And so if you're not taking notes while you're in class, then when you go back and study the material on your own, you're gonna suffer because you won't know what exactly you covered in class or what the professor was emphasizing on. And so it's really important to take notes. Let me tell you exactly what I do to take good notes. So before I have a lecture, I just read the material. And if I don't have time, I just skim. I give it a minute or two just to have an idea of what I'm gonna do the next day while I'm in the lecture. The day prior to class, I usually don't take notes unless the information is really hard for me to understand. If that's the case, then I just do a small hallmark in case I wanna ask a question about that specific topic if we go through it during lecture. This way I'm not really missing anything during class. Now, when I'm in class, it's my focus zone. That's when I am the most focused because during class is where you will gain the most amount of knowledge in terms of what you will cover for that chapter or for that lecture. So what I do is usually I take notes of what the professor is saying and what is on the board. Now, I know that some professors are ruthless. They're so quick and they're so fast. What I do is I just take a quick look at the book and I circle the page for which this information came from. If your professor is slow and takes their time, which is really good, then you wanna make sure that you take notes. What does that mean? If there's figures on the board, try to copy them. If there's certain bullet points that the professor is emphasizing, make sure you add those on your notes. Now, there's one thing that students don't do when they're taking their notes. I've noticed that when students ask a question and they get the response from their professor, they don't actually write the answer on the notes. And so what happens is you forget the answer when you're trying to study. So always, always, always write down the answers to your questions on your notebook. This way you will never forget them. 
Now, we're still talking about notes. When I go back home and I'm deeply studying the lecture from the book, that's when I really take notes. I read the chapter or I read the page that the topic is on. And then I take important notes. What does that mean? Anything that you find challenging, anything that you have questions on, or anything that you remember from the lecture, you put it down on these notes. And then you take the notes that you had from class and then you add them on your new notes because these are the notes that you will be using when you're studying for a test. The second thing, and that is really important as a college student, is show up. Show up to class. Even if it's not a major class, if it's just an elective and you hate the professor and you hate your life going into class, trust me, I understand, but you gotta show up. Showing up is 50% of the work. I mean, you get grades for even just showing up to class. So at least have that under your belt. Now, if you can't show up to class because you're sick, then that's a completely different issue. We're just talking about showing up to class on a normal scenario. All right, so another thing that I wanna share with you is mindset. Honestly, studying is nothing but a mindset. Having that never giving up mentality while you're studying is important. Let me tell you this, there are so many times where I wanted to just quit and stop while I was studying. I mean, I had two majors and I had so much under my belt, but in order to get those grades that you want, you have to have that never giving up mentality. You have to be willing to sacrifice all of your time, put all of your efforts and dedication into your craft, which is your study, which is your passion, whatever your passion is. And so for me, I'm blessed to always have that mindset of studying more than anything. Now, you have to understand that there is some information that is much, much, much harder than other kinds of information. And that's when you gotta put that mindset. I mean, studying one plus one versus studying the phosphorylation of the NAG gene of a Parkinson's disease is a whole different spectrum. And you gotta understand that some information just takes time to understand. Going over it again and again, and asking questions, and going to different resources so that you can better understand it is the way to go. I know a lot of students, whenever they tackle something and they find it challenging, they just say, oh, I'm stupid. Oh, I can't do this. No, 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 no. You have to understand that there are levels of hardship when it comes to information. There are some information that is just purely harder than the others. And it would just need to simply take more time so that you understand it better. All right, so the next step is important. I mean, it is unbelievably important. And that is asking questions. Asking questions to me is honestly 60% of how I got A's in all of my hard classes. During class, I did not give a darn if my question was so stupid that other students would laugh at me or if my question was like very hard. I made sure that I ask questions all the time. I mean, ask and you shall receive. Always ask questions. If the professor has time during the class where students can ask questions, don't miss on that opportunity. My philosophy is when it comes to asking questions is there's no such stupid question. What's stupid is if I do not ask questions when I want to ask questions and I know a lot of students they get shy or they just don't they think other students are gonna think oh they're stupid for asking such a dumb question no 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 no. don't care about what other students think that's their issue my issue or your issue is to ask the questions that you have in order to become confident when it comes time for the big test another thing that you want to do is you want to schedule appointments with your professors to ask deeper questions. I mean, studying something like cell biology or pharmacology or physical chemistry needs a lot of attention. And with that comes you asking questions. The thing that I do is I always schedule appointments with professors to ask them deeper questions on what we covered during the lecture. That could be sometimes just going over some information that we went through class to make sure that I'm completely confident on it. And to me, I ask them to give me questions to solve during that office hours. That has helped me so much during the test. I mean, I'm not trying to impress you, but impress upon you that you can really do this. So make sure that you schedule appointments with your professors and ask questions. Because again, this will show them that you are very interested in their topic. 
and they're gonna help you along the way. They're gonna explain things over and over and over and over again. So do not miss the opportunity of actually going and scheduling appointments with your professors to ask questions, whatever the question is. All right, so the next thing that you wanna do is you wanna review your notes. So the way I do it is, after I take my notes and I study the lecture, I review those notes the next day so I don't forget them. And then I review the same notes again three days later, and then a week later, and then a month later. And guess what? If you do that, you'll never ever forget that knowledge in your life. Okay, so the last thing that I wanna share with you is that while you're studying, make sure that you are in a secluded environment with no noise, with no distraction, because as I mentioned in a previous video, every time you get distracted, your productivity level decreases by 500%. It's a waste of time, basically. So make sure that you are in a secluded environment with no distraction to get the best out of your study time. All right, if you like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I need to show you this, guys. This is a creek that I always go to on my free days just to reflect back and be more introspective of myself and the things that I need to improve. Again, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you next week with a new one. Stay blessed.